So, most of you guys probably have heard of alpha males before, and chads, and giga chads, and watched all those memes. Well, I'm not going to be reacting to all that. Instead, I'm going to be reacting to the biggest mass monster who ever walked on this planet. But then again, I believe that title's kind of wrong because I think this guy's still alive. I mean, the video was made, like, not too long ago. I believe just, like, a month or two ago. Maybe a little longer. Um, but yeah, just by looking at the thumbnail, you can tell that this guy's ripped. He's just, I don't know. He's just the ultimate Giga Chad. Rich Piano was an American mass monster in bodybuilding industry and exactly looked like Thanos, the character from Marvel. Rich? Yeah, I was gonna say he kinda, yeah, he kinda does a little bit. Piano is an absolutely massive guy, lifting ever since he was a kid. He yeah, I know. managed to get huge in the gym and push themselves harder than ever before. Rich Piano? I know. Nope. Just look at his biceps. Look at his biceps and like his triceps and his quads. Like they're so giant. Like I swear to God. I, I, I don't like this kind of stuff. It's just, don't get me wrong, working out is good for you and all that. But like, working out this much and taking steroids, I mean, really? Why, why would you want to go down that path? Well, social media sensation, a contributor and actor, a former bodybuilder. He was also known all over the world for his distinctive and huge appearance. He was born and raised in the sunshine state of California. Someone who is... Oh, oh, I thought you were going to say Florida. I was going to be like, yeah, I could, I could totally see that now. But I mean, then again, Venice, I mean, you, you got that little bodybuilding workout center like right by the beach, right by the skateboard center. Five or this, five the skate ring. The charms will look way bigger than someone who is six foot five and has eighteen inch arms. Rich Piana was six foot one and had forty three and a half inch arms and looked massive. Wow, Piano that's just. I don't know. That's just a little stupid. I mean, I, I just, I don't know why you'd want to be this big, this giant to, to impress the girls, to be the, the, the ultimate child, to get all the hot babes. I mean. I just, I, I don't understand. It was all about fitting big. During the peak of his career, he weighed around 300 pounds and only ate 8 meals per day. Rich liked to eat after his training session. Wait, so wait, 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 hold up. Did you say 8 meals a day? I mean, then again, in places like Spain, they have like, what, 5, 6, 7 little meals a day? But, yeah, I think I already know what this guy is talking about. 8 full meals a day. So this guy's consuming like over 10,000 calories, at least like 15 or 20,000 calories. Known to put down into ice cream every night. One reason Rich Piana gains such a huge following had to do with his authenticity rather than dance around the issue of using animal steroids. The California native openly discussed his experience with taking a performance and hence in drugs during the course of his bodybuilding career. Oh, right, yeah, steroids. Well, I was gonna say, honestly, when this guy, like, grows a beard and, like, grows out, like, his hair in the back or whatever, he kind of honestly looks like the Giga Chai guy. Like, don't you think? And then this guy over here looks like, um, what's his name from Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> oh my god that is just i mean this guy just devouts his entire life by working out i bet his house well he probably has multiple because he makes tons of money but i bet like all the houses he has or whatever have like workout equipment everywhere like in the living room there's weights in the bathroom there's weights in the kitchen there's weights in the bedroom i mean it's just Something really stupid like that. He used, that's crazy. Rich Piano was a man that did care about his body. He I mean, yeah, I can see that. He really cares about his body. But then again, I mean, if you're taking steroids and... You don't really care about your body. Do you really... Guys, do you really believe that? Do you really believe that if you're taking steroids and... You, you actually care about your body? Hell no. You only care about getting ripped. 
I mean, that's what steroids do to you. They, they give you fake muscles. Yeah, sure. Sure, an incredible mindset. An incredible mindset of an idiot who decided to stick, take a bunch of steroids and become the next Hulk. He died? He died from a scoring incident. You got to be kidding me. This guy over here died from a scoring incident and oh okay, this was actually posted a year ago. Never mind, never mind. I thought it was like last month. Uh I think this video yeah, this video was like last month. His five percent brand. I bet he sells the weirdest stuff on there. And oh my god, like I cannot imagine what his views are on like social issues, like women and stuff. Like I bet it's so bad. I bet he believes in like the idea that like men are like superior towards all women, and they must like totally dominate and control their lives. Kind of like an Andrew Tate, but like way worse. If you know what I mean. Yeah, I yeah I really hope so. But then again, I mean, this is the internet. People watch this stuff and they get inspired. So I mean, I don't know. Part one done, or video one done at least. All right, now since I finished watching this, I'm gonna be checking out a little bit of this. The giant from the Bahamas, the actual biggest black or back. Oh my God, I'm so racist, bro, bro. Why did it take me all the way out here? I swear to God, I didn't even watch this. I don't know why I did that. It's so weird. Steps. My name is Joe Steps. I'm a black man from the Bahamas. <laughs> Joe Steps. I wonder what his last name is. Joe Steps Quahonda. Joe Steps Quahonda. The best back in history of bodybuilding. That's right. The best back in history of oh. bodybuilding. And I'll show you why. Well, he is a pretty giant man. Very special guy. He's quite tall, too. I mean... If you thought the last guy was bad enough, I mean, just look at him. Now, this is absolute, like, uh, I don't know. Man, I, I don't know what to say there. Let's see. Now, this is called, oh, I'm so idiotic, I'm going to give up on all my dreams just to be this ridiculous looking bodybuilder, this bodybuilder model. I'm expecting some really, really big things. I mean, this is just like... Me, I say more. I, I mean, why, why do you want to look like this? I mean, I guess I could kind of understand why, so you could like scare people and... Still, why would you want to look like this? Why would you want to to transform your body into a living nightmare? If I could work that hard every day, being blessed with the physical tools that I have, what would my career be? Sure, I can understand why transgender people would want to, you know, get their body parts uh, chopped off rather than join the bodybuilding movement and become this bodybuilder model and take all these steroids. I could understand that more than this. I mean, look at this. That's... Oh, I, 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 bet, I bet those weights were easy for him. Oh, yeah. 
This is easy. I do this like every every hour. I mean, he literally has he literally has muscle over muscle. I mean, if you're looking for Ultimate Chad, this guy is the perfect choice. Oh God, this was back in 2009. Oh yeah, this guy's dead. I'm I'm pretty sure this guy's dead. He probably either like something happened or like his bicep or whatever. Like with the last guy, like it, he got scarring and he died, or he just killed himself, or he. Got killed by the cops because he tried to brutally attack an old lady down the street. I mean, don't get me wrong, this guy, like, he's good. I mean, he's a pretty, like, handsome guy, but, like, it's just the muscles. Okay, now this part, I'm gonna have to, okay, so I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna go back and watch the, actually, maybe not. I just gotta think on what I wanna say for this part. Let's see. Gotta think. I wanna do something about, like, femboys or whatever. Someday, when I start dating in the real world, I'm just going to find a crappy femboy who is so skinny and so scrawny that, uh, I don't even, I don't even freaking know what to freaking say. Someday, when I start dating out in the real world, I'll just find myself a crappy femboy because I, honestly, I, I don't want to, I don't want to deal with this. This is just, because girls can want to do this kind of stuff too, you know, I mean, it's not just the guys. Okay, this guy maybe is, uh, his bodybuilder trainer or whatever, but this honestly looks kind of gay. I mean, they're holding hands over here, like, moving their arms up and down. I mean, what kind of, what kind of straight person does that? No hard feelings, though, because this is the Bahamas, where rights are taken away from you. better every single day. And if I live that way, then over time, I would have something that was beautiful. You know, if you live your life, to just get better every single day. You do that for 20 years, and what do you have? What you have to do is you have to get them emotionally to want to be better. You, want, you have to get them to an emotional space where they wake up every morning driven to be the best version of themselves. I mean, I agree with everything you just said, but not when it comes to freaking bodybuilding. Not like this. No, 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 not like this. In fact, you know what? No, I, I can't even watch any of this. I can't watch this anymore. This is just, this is too ridiculous for me. This is too ridiculous. This is just a, a unrealistic way of living life. It really is. I mean, just like the Kim Kardashians and all those crappy people, this is a legit fake way to live your life. And that's how you end a reaction the right way.